Hi, my name's Gareth and I make videos helping people to get higher scores in the IELTS test. Recently, I had a request from someone to look at a specific IELTS speaking part two task. It was this one, to describe a time when your computer broke down. I think this is a task card that has come up quite recently in the IELTS speaking test. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to look at the task card and actually focus on the planning process for this particular task. In next week's video, we'll look at a full sample answer following the planning that we do in this video. So let's have a look at the task card in a bit more detail. Of course, the task is asking us to describe a time when your computer broke down. Now, you can see we've also got four cues here to help us to come up with some ideas to keep us speaking for between one and two minutes. So the first one is when it was. So we've got to talk about the time when it was. The second cue is what you were doing. So exactly what we were doing at that time. So we need to go into a bit of detail and describe what we were doing. And the third cue, what you did about it. So when the computer broke down, what did you do about it breaking down? Of course, we need to go into some detail on that. And then the final one is how you felt about it. Now, this final cue is often about feelings, how you felt about something. So that's a key one that we need to go into a bit of detail on to describe our feelings. Really good point to get to there. So we need to try and go through those four cues within the two minute limit. Often students will have a problem getting through those full four cues and maybe they only get through two. It's not the end of the world, but it's important to try and get to that final one because we get to describe our feelings. Really good thing to do to show off some uses of uh, adjectives and some really good vocabulary. So that is the uh, task card and it's the task card that someone asked me to look at. So what we're going to do now is think about how I would plan my answer to this task card. What I would do here, of course, in the exam, you get a piece of paper and a pencil and you can make some notes. So I'll just show you the notes that I would make if I got this task card. I'd go through each cue one by one and write down an idea or two for each of those cues. So we've got four cues, so at least four ideas that I can go through and explain. Then if I had time, I would write down a bit of vocabulary that I'd like to use to explain each of those ideas. Some really good vocabulary that will impress the examiner and I don't want to forget when I'm speaking. So I can look down at my notes and then use that key vocabulary to describe and explain my idea. So let's quickly do that. Let's go through each of these cues and think about what my idea for that cue would be. So the first one is when it was. Well, when did your computer break down? And well, for me, really, I could describe two things here. It was last year. So the idea of being last year. And more specifically, it was early in the morning. So we'll write down early morning. And of course, when I'm in the test and I'm speaking for between one and two minutes, I'll expand on that and give a bit more detail. But the key idea is there. Then what you were doing. So what was I doing at the time? I've got to write down another idea for this second cue. Now, I was starting up my computer to begin working in the morning. Uh, so short form of that in short notes, starting computer for work. Write down that idea and then of course we will have to expand on that when we're giving our full answer. But the main idea is down there so I don't forget. Then the third cue, what you did about it. So I've got to explain a bit about what I did about the computer breaking down. So 
Basically, I tried to fix it, but in the end, I had to give up because it wasn't working.、Uh, and after that, I decided to call a friend to help me to fix the computer.、Um, <clears throat> so the main idea here really is: I tried to fix,、uh, but gave up. Uh, we're not writing the full sentence there; just short note form, so I don't forget what I want to say. Maybe also the fact that I called a friend as well. So writing that down, so I don't forget to explain that idea. So we've got the main idea down there, so I can expand on it when I'm giving the full answer. The final cue is about how I felt about the computer breaking down. How you felt about it.、Um, So here, I just really need to write down a few feelings that I had, a few different feelings throughout the whole time that I'm describing. Maybe the feeling worried. Well, I was worried that my computer wasn't working, and maybe that I had lost all the things that I'd saved on the computer.、Uh, maybe also I was annoyed when I was trying to fix it, but I couldn't. And then when it finally got fixed, in the end, I felt relieved. And、uh, maybe a little bit foolish that I couldn't fix it myself. So we've got four different feelings there that we can explain in a bit more detail when we're giving our full answer.、Uh, but four feelings there, nice and clear, and some different words there to use. Now, of course, when you're in the test, you're only going to have one minute to get those ideas down. And、uh, if you have time after you've got those ideas, if you've done that very quickly, then it's worth thinking about some vocabulary that you can use when you're explaining those ideas. So, if I just go through maybe a few different words that I could use when I'm explaining and expanding on those ideas that I've got for the four cues. Now, if we look at the first one. The idea is when it happened, and it was very early in the morning, just after I got up. So I think I could use an adjective to describe this feeling of being tired in the morning. This vocabulary is a bit less common. Bleary-eyed, to be bleary-eyed, which means well, when you're waking up in the morning and you're still feeling really quite tired, first thing in the morning, you are bleary-eyed. So that would be a nice. Bit of vocabulary to use to impress the examiner.、Some、less common or idiomatic vocabulary there to use to achieve a higher score. So let's move to the second idea and think of a bit of vocabulary that I can include in explaining this idea. I was starting my computer for work.、Uh, let's think of a phrasal verb that we can use for、uh, starting my computer. That is the phrasal verb boot up. Uh, boot up, maybe nice bit of idiomatic vocabulary there. Pretty simple though, just switching on my computer. But we can use that specific topic-related vocabulary. Boot up,、uh, nice phrasal verb to use there. Let's move on to the third cue now, and that idea、uh, that I tried to fix it, but in the end I gave up and I called a friend. Let's think of a nice word to describe that friend I called. Obviously, the friend I called had a really good knowledge of computer, computers, and technology. So, I could use this adjective to describe them: tech savvy. Now, a slightly less common word that a lot of people who speak English as a second language might not know,、uh, but this is a nice adjective to describe someone who's really good with computers and technology. Good word to use to describe this person I called to help me fix my computer. Right, let's move on to the final idea, which was how I felt about it, and I had those four different adjectives that I could use to describe my feeling: worried, annoyed, relieved, foolish. Now, I think here I could think of not another adjective because I've got plenty of adjectives here, but maybe、uh, a phrasal verb, some idiomatic vocabulary that connects with one of those feelings. The fact that I felt. Foolish. Now, why did I feel foolish? And it was because I couldn't really solve the problem that I had with my computer. Now, we could think of a phrasal verb to explain the word "solve." There, a synonym of the word "solve," solving the problem with my computer. I could use the phrasal verb "work out." I couldn't work out what the problem was. So, to work something out. Nice phrasal verb there, idiomatic vocabulary that will really push the score up for the speaking. So there we go. 
you can see here we've got ideas for each of those four cues and we've got a little bit of vocabulary that we can include in our answer. Now, of course, that's taken me a lot longer than just one minute that you get to prepare your answer in the test. But if I was just focusing on it and not explaining things, then maybe it, that is achievable within one minute. But also there's a lot of preparation you can do before you go to the tests. And you can spend time building ideas and building vocabulary that you can use and hopefully remember when you go into the actual test. So here we have the planning stage done for this task card. You can see there the ideas and the vocabulary. What we're going to do next is move on to look at a full sample answer following this planning. Now, I think we'll move on to that in the next video. Uh, so that means we're pretty much done with the planning stage. I hope this was helpful for you and it's given you a good idea of well, how we plan for any task in part two of the IELTS speaking test. And also it's given you some ideas for this specific task. Maybe you could go away and think about how you would actually plan for this task if you got it in the IELTS speaking test. Like I said, I hope it was useful. And if it was, then don't forget to give the video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on well next week's video or future videos on similar topics, then don't forget to click the subscribe button. And there we go. Thanks for watching guys and see you again in the next video.